Hello, I'm Stuart Heath, CEO of Harvard Grace, and coming to you this fun Monday with uh, to discuss uh, the labor market. We all know there's labor shortages. It's it's virtually reported on every hour on the hour of of the news. And I just want to dive in a little bit uh, into the reasons why. Uh, you know, when the pandemic first started, you know, I just kept it. Well, when is this going to be over so we can get back to normal? Um, I don't think we're ever going back to the way it was, frankly. And, and last week we had a really good jobs report. Uh, we ended up uh, with a declining job rate, uh, unemployment rate to 4.6%, uh, which in my lifetime has, has always been a pretty strong report. It's not back to where it was just before the pandemic, uh, but I think we're going to get there. Uh, the, the real questions are, um, what's with the gap of uh, the men's unemployment and the uh, women's unemployment and what's going on with the labor force participation rate. Now, the thumbnail to this post is a uh, graphic uh, on that that was published by the conference board uh, last Friday after last week's labor report. And, and while labor force participation rates in the 70s um, historically is not bad, again, it's not what it was pre-pandemic. Uh, is the the uh, ladies' uh, participation rate was uh, near 90%, and the men's was uh, in the high 80s, uh, and, and now we're down into the 70s. So the real question is, why aren't people going back to work? Now, a lot of my conservative friends, and, 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 and I lean this way, but the research just shows it's not the case, but that people are just staying at home on uh, unemployment benefits, which for the most part have played out now. Uh, that, that attributed to the large gains we saw in June uh, and then again in September of people returning to the workforce. Uh, what we also saw in July and August, which was um, major numbers of people quitting their job as some COVID cases were spiking up in certain places. Uh, but from surveys, and we don't know for certain, I tagged a great article from CNBC just last month about why aren't people returning to work? Well, a fair amount of people uh, my age and older um, took advantage of early retirement benefits. Uh, and, and, you know, so they're not returning to work. And eventually, the Department of um, the Bureau of Labor Statistics will remove those folks um, from the participation uh, rate de denominator. So, uh, in, in last month, in the survey, there was 3.6 million people who said that they don't want a job right now, who had previously been in the workforce. Other cases, people uh, have had to leave work, uh, perhaps their um, elderly parents or someone they care for could not return to a nursing home, because, you know, those were dangerous places in a lot of cases. So uh, a worker decided to stay home and give the care. And that family made an adjustment in lifestyle to be able to handle that. Some people are living off their savings. Uh, some people are still afraid of COVID uh, and are doing so. But And part of the real problem is uh, wage inflation, although we are seeing it in real time, has not quite caught up with enough to adjust, to, to cause the people to go back in the workforce who've already adjusted their lifestyle, perhaps, to a one-income household. And, and so it, I think that's a lot of what's going on is people have adjusted their lifestyles. And so uh, we may be living in the new normal, which with 4.6% un, uh, unemployment is not a bad world. But uh, we do have to solve the problem of needing more workers somehow. So, and that's another uh, day that we'll discuss that all together. Anyway, would love to hear y'all's comments about this. Uh, please feel free to engage. See you on the other side.